Okay, so let's take a look at how to work with function notation. Our first example says if f of x equals 3 minus x squared, then find f of negative 2. So anywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace it with a negative 2. So I have 3 minus x squared, but like I just said, anywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a negative 2. So you want to make sure that you have parentheses, especially if you're going to be using your calculator. So anytime you see an x, set up a parentheses and then fill it in from there. Your negative goes with the 2, so it has to be inside the parentheses. Easiest thing from here is to type this whole expression exactly as you see it in the calculator. When you do that, you should get negative 1 as your answer. Let's take a look at one more. If f of x equals the square root of 25 minus x squared, find f of negative 3. So once again, anywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace it with a 3. So I have the square root of 25 minus x squared. Instead of an x, I put my parentheses, and now I'm going to fill that parentheses in with a 3. Once again, type this whole thing in your calculator. Make sure that that radical extends across the entire thing when you write it out. And then once you type it right in your calculator and hit enter, your answer should be 4. So that's evaluating a function with numbers. Now let's take a look at when we have some expressions. So once again, anywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace it. This time, instead of with a number, I'm going to replace it with this whole expression, a plus 4. So I'm going to set it up just like we did in the previous problem. Anywhere I see an x, I'm going to start by putting parentheses. So x squared, parentheses squared, minus 3 times x, or 3 times parentheses, plus 1. So now, anywhere I have a parentheses, I'm going to fill it in with a plus 4. And now from here, I'm going to simplify. Remember that when I have a binomial squared, or a plus 4 squared, you really need to do a plus 4 times a plus 4. So I'll do that work on the side over here so you can see it. Now it's up to you whether you would like to double distribute or use the box method. For now, I will use the box method so you guys can see that. A times A gives me A squared. A times 4, 4A. A times 4, 4A. And 4 times 4, 16. My diagonals match up. So when I combine like terms, I end up with A squared plus 8A plus 16. So now, that's my scrap work. I'm going to take that back over here, and that's what this expression was. So a squared plus 8a plus 16. Now I'm going to distribute this negative 3. So minus 3a minus 12, and don't forget to bring down that plus 1 at the end. Now I'm going to combine like terms. a squared plus 5a. And then I have a positive 16 and a negative 12 and a positive 1. Don't forget you have all three terms to combine, which gives me plus 5. So here is my final answer. Let's take a look at one more example. This time I have f of x is equal to 4x squared minus x plus 1. They want me to find f of a plus 1. So I'm going to start by setting it up with parentheses. Anywhere I saw an x, I put a parentheses. Now, anywhere I have a parentheses, I'm going to fill it in with a plus 1. Now, when you go to simplify this, remember, if you take a look at PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. That 4 on the outside is technically multiplication, but there's a squared, so exponents have to come first. So I need to do 4 times whatever I get with a plus 1 squared. 
Once again, show that work on the side if you need to. This time I will do the double distribution instead of the box method. So, a times a, a squared plus a plus a plus 1, which gives me a squared plus 2a plus 1. So that comes back over here. And then I still have this minus a plus 1 plus 1. And now I need to distribute. So this 4 gets distributed and this negative gets distributed. Remember, that's like having an imaginary negative 1. So 4a squared plus 8a plus 4 minus a minus 1 plus 1. If I combine my like terms, I end up with 4a squared plus 7a plus 4. Choice 4. And lastly, let's take a look at a graphing example. It says the function y equals f of x is defined by the graph shown below. Evaluate each of the following based on the graph provided. So remember, what's inside here is an x equals or x equals 1 in this case. I, this answer here, they want to know what y equals. So on my graph, I'm going to go to x equals 1, which is right here, and I'm going to travel with my pen until I find the graph up here. So this is the coordinate point 1, 4, which means that my answer is 4. Then I'm going to do the same thing with f of 5. Remember, this is really x equals 5. So on my graph, I'm going to go to 5. And I'm going to travel with my pen until I find the graph down here. This is the point 5, comma, negative 2. So f of 5 is equal to negative 2. And that's how we evaluate functions with function notation.